a News at 7 is an automatically generated news and entertainment show. So it's able to pull from a lot of different sources online and um, beginning with a C, like it could be text, um, it could be something you're interested in, it could be original story. It's able to go out and find video and images and blogger comments and, and tweets about it and what your friends are saying about it um, and gather all those things together and then pull it back and make a multimedia news show. There's no question that the future of information is personalization. Uh, and what News 7 is, is a, is a platform that allows us to create a news experience that's uh, very personal. That means that you can get something that no one else in the world can get. I think the original idea for News at 7 is that we were trying to build a virtual MC. We started giving it more and more kind of small talk knowledge for so things that you kind of chat about. And so we said we could take that and build a new show out of that. The first kind of version we did in News at 7 was the spring of 2006. It's been through a lot of different versions in that time. This version of News at 7 uh, was designed to help researchers present their ideas. It takes things like a PowerPoint presentation or a video and allows a researcher to really script a news experience around that PowerPoint or that video. And in this instance, uh, we were looking at an audience of, uh, of students. So we wanted to have uh, a younger uh, a set of uh, avatars, a more interesting and compelling and uh, more modern set of avatars than you would see in a standard news show. We're going to try to create per more unique personalities for the anchors. So right now, they really don't have a personality. We're going to have try to make some one like happy-go-lucky, one more like negative, and all the different variations of personality you can think of. News at 7 has always been driven by students. Students at the undergraduate level working on the various dynamics that the system uses, and students at the graduate level actually building the core system. Like most of the work that goes on in our lab, uh, it's always the case that we have uh, ongoing flow of information of, of talent coming through in the form of undergraduates and graduate students as well as the faculty. There are really two directions that News at 7 is going in. One is greater personalization. What I think we're finding in the world is that uh, the broadcast, the thing that's for everybody, is becoming less and less appealing. And what people want is something that's just for them, that's aimed at them, that cares for them, that is concerned about their goals, their interests, but also uh, going in the, we want to go in the direction of having the system actually pay attention to itself, that is be aware of its own limitations and comment on them and work within them and help use that awareness to have, it, have a better interaction with the people that it encounters.